Green Acres is the place to be. I'm living in the light for me. Oh god, I can't do that. <laughs> you ever do silly voices? I have a tendency to do a lot of silly voices. Um, anyway, story for another day. So tonight is BAM! Vinyl and Music News, where we talk about vinyl, music, music news, and artists, and bullshit. Sometimes we talk about bullshit. <laughs> Um, anyway, I'm having an awesome day. I'm kind of, like, finally settled in, like, the real world and doing something that I've been trying to work on, a project, and I'm just like, ah! You know when you work on a project and you're just kind of, like, balls to the wall with it and you're just kind of like, we got this, we got this, and then at some point you're just like, whoa, do we really have this? And, uh, am I, am I doing the right thing? And you're kind of questioning it, but at the same time you're just like, it's growth, motherfucker. You're growing as a person because you're uncomfortable. Yeah. Anyway, um, so, so, tonight I wanted to talk about, um, female artists, like I mentioned last week, where I mentioned to you guys, because I didn't create a video yet, and it kind of, March kind of snuck up on me, honestly, and it's kind of funny how that happens, but I knew it was going to happen, if that makes any sense. Anyway, um, so, last week we were talking about artists that we've done in the past, like Janis Joplin, Joni Mitchell, uh... I'm forgetting people. Clara Rockmore. And I'm not remembering the other one. Dang it. Anyway, I'll leave a link down below. Um, but tonight, uh, for the first artist that we're going to talk about for the month of March, because it's Women's History Month and International Women's Month, then I thought, why not go international with this one, right? So tonight I want to talk about Bomba Estéreo. Um, Bomba Estéreo. Man, Spanish and English. Ah. I've never done, I don't think I've done, yeah, I have done videos where I talk Spanish and English, but it's just kind of like a tongue twister, like hell. So I'm going to try attempt this, and if there's a bunch of like blah, 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 so be it. Um, so, Bomba Estéreo, which is Stereo Bomb in English, um, is essentially a group from Colombia, and they are kind of like this fusion of all different kind of sounds. It kind of reminds me of Manu Chao, if you've ever heard of Manu Chao. Um, if not, I'll leave links down below so you can listen and enjoy, and maybe we can discover some new songs all together. Anyway, um, so, uh, Bomba Estéreo is from Bogota, Colombia, if I'm not mistaken. Probably, like, the most influential band at the moment, um, within Colombia that's kind of, like, pop pumping out some really awesome shit and some positive vibes if you want to go there. Um, so, uh, specifically, um... Bomba Studio isn't an all-female group. It's basically um, a two-person group, um, which consists of Lee Salmet, which, um, Salmet, I guess that's how you would say it. My Spanish and English is going to get just fucktarded in this video, and I know it. And, um, Simon Mejia. And essentially, they form Bomba Studio. And it's so freaking cool, because apparently she's the words and he's the music, and they kind of just function as is and fit perfectly like a puzzle. And it was just kind of like fate and happenstance that they happened to actually meet. The one had a friend of a friend, and it kind of blew my mind. Um, I've read some interviews, granted they were in Spanish, so I don't know necessarily. You can probably use Google Translate, that might be hit or miss, but that's actually improved over the years, as I've recently discovered. Um, anyway, that's a whole rant for another day. I'm kind of like really happy, as you can see. Um, I'm just, I am so flippin' happy. It, it's, it's been an awesome day. Um, made a lot of progress on my project at work. Dang it, not back to the project at work, we're talking about music now. So, basically the reason why I want to talk about Bomba Studio is because of Lee Selmet. This girl is the bomb in the land of rap, or at least Spanish rap, because she utterly blows my mind. Um, not only that, she has these very, very positive, like, in there, in your head type lyrics, um, and it really gets to the point of what you're feeling inside and it's just like this fiery fire and this burst of energy just going and hammering at you and just saying you can do this and that's kind of why I love Lee Salmet. Um, granted uh, it's not for everybody because not everybody understands Spanish but I think it comes across in the music and especially in the beats. Um, but they started playing in Colombia and it's kind of like exploded into like an international thing where they're all over the place and it's utterly amazing and it's kind of cool because they're actually 
still touring. They're going to be sometime in the near future in Miami, which is kind of really freaking cool. I'm going to try to check them out, um, especially if I can figure out when so I can get tickets. Yeah, that's a thing. I'm kind of bummed out that Red Hot Chili Pepper sold out, but uh, neither here nor there. Um, so Lee Selmet, um, definitely check her out, especially if you love rap music or you speak Spanish and you enjoy just pure <clears throat> awesome poetry and awesomeness and just genuine very powerful music um what's interesting about her though is uh there's so many really cool things about her but I wanted to highlight her this month because she is an amazing rapper and I'm in awe of her. Granted, there's a lot of females out there that I'm really in awe of um, and we'll probably talk about them this month because um, I've got like, what, three more? Three more ladies? That's going to be tough. Oh, man. They might sneak into our drawing videos. Um, anyway, if you missed yesterday, we did a time lapse, which kind of got cut short because we didn't hit the record button. I blame this on the fact that I am turning uh, 33 soon and I'm like, oh, okay, memory loss, that's a thing, yeah. I'm gonna blame that on 33. So if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link down below or somewhere in this area if I ever figure that out because I'm one of those assholes that always says, oh yeah, I'm gonna put the link and then yeah, no, I never do. But I'm getting better at it down there. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah that's who i wanted to talk about for international women's month um definitely check her out she's amazing um i'll leave two links down below to two of my favorite songs one of my favorite songs is soyo and that is just the ballad of every girl out there who has ever like wanted to sit there and say this is who i am take it or leave it that song is utterly amazing. I think it's just empowering in general. Um, there's this mixture of like island cumbia uh, beats with like electronic. Um, it's this really cool mix of music that kind of, like I said, reminds me of Manu Chao, if you know who I'm talking about. If not, leave a link down below. Um, and then there is Fuego. Fuego is an awesome tune, especially if you're looking to move to something really fast, whether that's like running to go get tacos, running to get the last ice cream sandwich from your roommate because he is that asshole, or just running in general or needing to work on a project and just hag at it. Um, the music itself kind of melds really, really well with the lyrics, and especially if you understand what's being said, it's like, it's very, very empowering, and I'm, I'm in awe of Lee Selmet, um, and especially her ability to sit there and just kind of like own it and hold it and granted um in interviews she's actually talked about how she's never had any formal training and she's actually you know she learned instruments by ear and she's kind of like this singing she's singing um just naturally how she would naturally sound and i think that's probably the success of bombay stadio is the fact that there is this rawness and this graspiness and she brings a lot to the table but at the same time the two both go perfectly awesome hand in hand um anyway that's pretty much it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, let me know down in the comments below, who is an awesome lady in music that you absolutely love and you would like to talk about? Um, let me know down there. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys are doing awesome. And yeah, bye. Whatever it is that you believe you're seeing, it's not, 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 not real. Can't take anything for granted.